My name is Samuel Esumim Brimpong, Future Agriculture Consortium and CADEP coordinator, and also a le senior lecturer at the University of Ghana in agricultural economics. The food and nutrition security is a major problem in Africa, and particularly this concerns the young people, the children, and the uh, mothers who have to take care of the children. And the major, first major problem is ignorance. There's lack of information and lack of teaching and uh, training in this area. So therefore, the women are unable to provide the necessary food for the children. Even where they give the food, it only fills the belly, but not the nutrients and ingredients that will make the person develop the brain and grow well to contribute to both society and the community. And therefore, we need a lot of education that will help bring information to the mothers and to the people in the communities. Second major problem is productivity. Africa is agrarian generally in all the economies, except a few, maybe South Africa outside. But you find that our production is very, very low compared to the rest of the world. An acre or a hectare of land will yield maybe a third of only what you get in Asia or in other places. So we keep producing, but a lot of effort goes into producing very little. And that is why it's not enough to go around everybody. So we need productivity increases. There's a need to invest in agriculture that will help improve productivity. Then there'll be food going around to everybody. A third major problem is markets. Even where the food is produced, how to get it to the people is a problem. Infrastructure is low. Roads and railways that will carry the food to the communities are not there. So we need investment in these areas to make it easy and possible for food that is produced in bumper areas to go to scarcity areas. Long-term solutions for food and nutrition should begin with primary school education. If we can begin to teach the children from their uh, classrooms why it is important to eat properly and get good nutrition, then it is going to continue as they grow. Uh, the Bible says, teach the child the way you should go. When he grows, he won't depart from it. So it's a very great uh, wisdom that we start with the children. And then we invest in agriculture. So we get the food we need, and the quantities we need, and the ingredients that are important to make the food whole for the individual. And thirdly, we need to open up to trade. More trade means access to a lot of the things that we cannot produce ourselves. And the access good to a good income also for those who produce. Therefore, if you can have interregional trade expanding and in, in making it possible for the Africans to get uh, access to the food that is available, we can solve the problem. And help Can a product like food secure? Their help? This is one area that Food Secure uh, Consortium can contribute. One in the area of making the information available. I think that the consortium has done well with the research into why things are happening and how they can be solved. And the next thing will be to engage the policymakers and tell them the facts on the ground. Many people think that nutrition is not as important as just getting the food. And, and that's wrong. You must get the food, yes, but you also have the nutrition that's associated. So food, sec food security is basically is uh, availability, accessibility, and utilization. These three components are very important. And then the area of stability to uh, link all of them together so that it's not today alone you have, but tomorrow too it's available. And, and so it's important that uh, Food Secure will uh, continue to engage policymakers, continue to engage researchers, continue to engage other stakeholders, the private sector, and, and pump into our, our mind the importance of improving food and nutrition. Mm -hmm. This conference, my expectation is that at the end of the day we can craft some general principles that can guide. It's not possible to develop one policy that will fit everybody. 
got one jacket cannot fit all because mm -hmm. of particularly when you come to Africa, there's so much diversity in economies, in countries, and among our people. So principles that will help us see the need, for instance, to invest in agriculture, the need, for instance, to improve productivity, the need to teach the children when they are young, the need to give attention to food and nutrition. That is what I believe this conference can do to contribute. And when the information comes out and we can convince our policymakers, we can make a lot of headway.